Uh, Christian Mason asks, are there any real benefits with DistroKid? I use Amuse, but they don't help with promotion. Uh, live, I've been considering DistroKid since everyone uses and praises it, but what really are the benefits? Well, it goes back. I don't know when you came on, Christian, but what I was telling everybody was, I, I, want, I want you guys to be clear, and I'm gonna make this real quick. You are investing in your distribution platform. When I was in the music industry, when I came into the music industry, that's not how it was. Distribution was the most powerful tool you can have. It's what record labels was based on. You signed with record labels based on their ability to distribute your music in certain uh, uh, territories. So if you signed, for example, we was in Miami base, if we signed what we, we did, Attitude Records, Attitude Records would say, hey, we have this Southeast distribution, all right? However, what Attitude would do is, Attitude didn't charge us for distribution. Attitude got a portion of that distribution. You understand? They provided a service and they took a portion of that distribution. Companies like DistroKid and TuneCore and the rest of these guys are charging you under the pretense. Think about this. I wanna make this real simple to you guys. I know for a fact 3,000 of you have signed up just under uh, my pretense alone, what I, what I shared with DistroKid and the advantage that you have with it. 3,000 times $20, y'all do the math. Now, how many of you have made that $20 back how many of you have invested in marketing and making sure that you have streams? That's my point. When you invest, they're not losing, okay? They're not gonna lose. And companies like Amuse, the whole free thing, I'm not gonna poop on them, but Amuse has a, has a catch with them as well. But what I'm saying to you is, be very clear that once you put that music on the platform, you have to pay for that music to be to stay on that platform every year. Even if you never make your money back, people aren't thinking about this. That's a twenty dollar investment, which doesn't sound like much. I get to I get to up upload as many songs as I want, right? But you still got to make that money back. You got to make the money back. If you guys want to just give me twenty dollars a month, give it to me. Give, give it to me. I'll, I'll take your money. I'll distribute your money. Y'all want to pay me? No problem. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. So you have to understand that this is a, an investment. So when you do that type of distribution, when you invest in these type of distribution opportunities, which again, I think is great. You know what I mean? Unlimited, all this other stuff. But you still got to realize it's an investment. You got to look at it as an investment, Christian. Right. So them beats, you hit it dead on the nose. In a way, you become your own label. Okay. When you are distributing, you are your own label. So, that's the thing and aspect that most producers and musicians don't get. Labels, when you sign with a label, what you expect the label to do? Handle your distribution, handle your marketing, handle your uh, uh, PR, handle all that. When we talk about being an indie, we're talking about all of that. All of that. You are now responsible for all of that. Get past the goddamn just, I'm distributing my music. Oh, you can look my music up. Get past the looks of being successful. Get past that. Get off the egotistical shit. Oh, my music is distributed. You can go, it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify, it's on. So the hell what? Get past that. Where's your marketing? Where's the money you put into your marketing? Where's the money you put into building your fan base out? Do people know you? Have, are, are, are your fans one of the ones, are they talking about you on Hip Hop DX? Are they talking about you on World Star? Where are you within the aspect of the business side of it, not just distribution. And that's what happened, you gotta understand. We feel good, we feel accomplished when we can tell our family, oh well, I have my music on iTunes, you can check me out. It's a big move. Everyone knows what iTunes is. Everyone knows what Spotify is. So you look good, right? You look good. Are you making money? Are you making money? That's the key. So uh, that's what I want you guys to look at as well. As far as our distribution, yes, we're global. We offer music all over the, the, the continent. Again, the music is just one aspect of it, man. I keep telling y'all, as music producers, you're slipping on content creation. You're missing content creation. You're missing the international market. And if you aren't marketing your music globally to Indians, to Costa Ricans, to Africans, to the English, to the Irish, what do you want global market? What do you want global distribution for? See, again, we're going back to what? Marketing. Okay, now, Spadazzo 100 just said something very key, which was heavy promotion is key. Not really, but yes. The reason why is, you guys now, same reason why you're watching me, you're in my house. Okay, you're in my house. You get a chance to see me. That's what fans want. Fans want to connect with you guys. That's why I keep telling y'all, get on YouTube. 
Get on Instagram. Start sharing. Start doing video content, bro. Y'all got to, y'all really have to start sharing your portion of your life because that's what people want to see. They want to see you. That's what fans are. Fans are someone that connects with you. So I, I don't give I don't give a damn if you were okay. So for us old heads, right? Red man, method man, old dirty bastard. All those people we related to when we saw them on MTV and we saw them on on shows and stuff, and they was who they said they were in their music. It's like, yo, that's my people. When they lives reflected the things that they spit. When you see an ODB still getting on food stamps and you hear about it, he's like, yo, the struggle's real. Damn, all this y'all see, you know, me on TV and stuff. I'm still struggling. Right? You know, it, it ain't like that. That's what fans are based on. Fans are built based on their reality and their connection to you. Even as a producer. Even as a producer, okay? So that's the part that I want you to understand. Music producers now are become y'all the door is open and y'all are sleeping on it because when you see people like Zaytoven, Mike Will Made, and all these other producers that are now getting a spotlight now, you understand? They're saying producers are the new artists. Get what I just said to you guys. Producers are the new artists. You guys have opportunities, man. You guys have opportunities to really, really make it. So start looking at that aspect of your life as a producer. Start sharing your lives, guys. Start sharing that portion. Stop being scared to get on YouTube. You don't want to share, show your face? Show your hands. Figure out an ingenious way to share your music and share your life without being on if, if, if it's a it's an issue about being on on you know showing your face no problem you understand but do it man not just and, and let me see i'm gonna go back because i just seen one uh wakanji bungee says so live streaming on instagram and youtube is the key no don't think that live streaming is the key sharing your life is the key it ain't just about live streaming so don't think that. See, because when we use keywords, keywords hurt us more than anything else. Because when you use those words, then people are just hone into, oh, I got the live stream, I got the yacht live stream, I got the live stream. No, that's not what I'm saying to you. I'm not saying just live streaming. I'm saying be prepared to share yourself. You get me? And the reason why I say that to you, because here's what happens. When you share a portion of your life and people can relate to it, you open the door to be, you open your lives up to people, okay? Diamond, Diamond Bag is on here. She know what I'm saying to you. When you open your lives up to people, what people, what a lot of people don't want to do, and what a lot, what happens with a lot of these artists who's just, who just broke into the industry, never, never really established themselves the right way, or it happens all so fast. What hurts them and why they go into depression and why there's these drug overdoses and all these different things that's going on right now is because they didn't expect the popularity to happen and people know a part of their lives they weren't ready to share. So when you do that, you're already opening the door. You're saying, hey, my, my life's an open book. I got I'm, I got good times. I got bad times. I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. Sometimes shit is crazy. Here's real life. I got bills I got to pay. I got when you open the door and you get all that shit out of there, and you live your truth and your life. Right. And you say F the world. People want to see that. People want to see how you did that, how you overcame that. And in the same token, when you're doing this social media profiling, it strengthens you because you know now it's no longer just about me. I have people that's depending on me to see myself out of this. I have people that I can depend on as well because now my fan base, you guys, is my audience. I can share with you. So when I open up about my brother passing away, right, and having to deal with that shit, okay, you guys was there. You guys was right there. So it's that part. Open your life up and be understanding and willing to and to be able to share that. Because I happen, what happens if you if you get the fame and notoriety, every, your fans are gonna want to know everything about you. They're gonna want to know everything about you, guy. And you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna Google the shit out you. They're gonna research you. They're gonna look you up. So if you got some shit you're embarrassed of or you shamed of, this ain't for you because it's gonna happen. So doing it now and getting ahead of that enables you to be able to be ready for that success. And again, you're building a fan base, people that want to see you get a chance to know you be a part of your life. That's what I'm saying to you, not just live streaming. Be ready to share a part of your life. I didn't want to work with Universal Music Group. I didn't want to work with anyone in the United States because of one simple reason. The thought process, the mentality is to take advantage of the artists. Overseas companies really appreciate their artists. A lot of times they treat them much better and they offer greater terms. So that's UMG out of Germany.